By the time I reached Bangkok Airport, it was 10.30 at night. My new pain medication wasn't working, so I hadn't been sleeping well. I'm 30 years old now. Better get used to it, I thought. I was in Thailand because I had started a new job as a charity coordinator, and after two weeks of travelling from place to place and sitting in business meetings, all I wanted was to get on that plane and sleep. I'd never really been away from my family before, so the whole thing had been quite difficult. The woman at the desk said, I regret to inform you that your flight has been cancelled and the next one will leave in the morning. Obviously, I was quite frustrated to hear this. My exhaustion seemed to double in that moment. I told her my sister's engagement party was in the morning and I couldn't miss it. It was a stupid thing to say. I knew the woman at the desk was powerless. She told me that the next flight would leave tomorrow at 6am. Where do I sleep tonight? I asked. She said, we've arranged for accommodation at the Sheraton. There'll be a shuttle bus leaving from outside the terminal building. The man who was waiting behind me got very angry when she broke the news to him. He raised his voice and slammed his fist down on the countertop. The lady looked frightened and I felt bad for her. Half an hour later I arrived at the hotel. I left my bags in the room and took the elevator down to the restaurant. The airline provided complimentary dinner and breakfast. I thought I should take advantage of this and ordered myself a fillet steak with creamy mushroom sauce. When I had finished my meal, I felt like having a drink, so I moved to the bar. I sat there for about an hour, watching TV on my laptop and drinking wine. I'm fascinated by insects and watch documentaries about them every chance I get. By then, I was exhausted, but my neck was so tense I didn't think I would be able to sleep, so I did some gentle exercises in my room. Back at home, I go swimming most evenings, and that helps my neck a lot, but I haven't had the chance lately. I was just getting into bed when my sister Angela called me, I answered the phone and said hello. She said she needed to talk and I asked her if she was okay. She burst into tears and proceeded to explain how she felt she had rushed into getting married and worried all the time he was not the right person for her. I did my best to calm her down. We spoke until I was too tired to keep my eyes open. I told her I would be home tomorrow and that everything would be okay. She said okay and that she loved me. I told her she didn't need to worry. She had to make the decision that was right for her and I would support her no matter what. That's what family is for, I said.